Hello fans, I'm being interviewed tonight at 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm waiting for the phone call. It's actually 10 o'clock right now, so that phone over there should ring pretty soon. There it is. Hello? I, I swore years ago it would never it'd be like some, some people I'm seeing them on the street, living on the street. I swore that would never happen to me. Well, it could have, though, years ago. It could have. People were trying, my own family, you know what I mean? My wife was trying to put me down. My brother, with the, with the money he won, that you know, I helped him win. They don't give me nothing. I mean, you know, they, they tried to put you down. Someone said, in order to, to uh, be success in music and art, you have to hate your family. Later on, I found out my brother was, um, well, I knew all, all along, um, he was um, a bit of, what do you call it, like a pedophile idea. With, with, with my sister, eh? I'm going to tell you this story. You want to hear it? When I was, when I was about, I was, my youngest sister was me and another brother about a year older than me. We were around, maybe I was about 14 or 15. He was about 16 or 17. I was living in, in um, North York in, in my mother's place. We were all there because we were young, right? He came to my bedroom. We have two bedrooms. He had a bedroom. I had a bedroom. He says, come on, Anthony. I want to show you something. And what he showed me blew my mind. He was about, um, I think, about 16 at the time. I could have been about, I could have been about 14. We went up. He, there's an attic. You know the attics, where in each bedroom you can you can pull a board over and go up into it. Good. I had one in my room. He had one in his room. He says, "Come on." I went up into the attic in my room. And he went up there too, and we looked into the washroom. Okay. There's a, you know, the fan, the little fan. It spins, or you can spin it with your finger. My sister was there. She was 12, 13 years old. He was looking at her naked, taking a bath, powdering her breast, this and that, right? I mean, to me, that's sick. I said nothing. I didn't say nothing. But, I mean, I'm thinking, I'm looking at the guy. He says, what a fucking, you know, like, you know, this is, you know, this is his own sister. You know what I mean? She doesn't know. I kept it quiet all those years. And later on, when he got married and he had a, a girl, he would talk to me about, his, her name was Kelly, right, when she was starting to get 11, 12, 13 years old, about how she was, you know, her breasts were starting to get big, and it's like it was turning him on. So this, to me, this guy's a sickie. I don't care what anyone says. Now, that's the way he, he's like. And then when we were, I found out, too, even more about him and his wife. They kind of stuck together. They invited me and my wife over to his place. They tried to get us too drunk <laughs> and take advantage of us. What happened was he, he got us he got us drinking a beer each, and then Lenny, my, my brother, who that pedophile one, he went after my wife, started grabbing her. Sandy, his wife, went after she went after me. Like a foursome idea, right? You know what I mean? Well, my wife was freaked out. She took off at the door right away. So I followed her, right? She says, Well, she says they're they're weird. I says, I know they're weird. I says, you know. So so what happened later on as the years went by? Um, he had a son, right? And we and the, the son made the Toronto Star, the the, the Toronto Star and, and the Toronto Sun. You heard the two papers? Okay. He was busted. The German police and the Canadian police were watching him for six months, uploading and downloading kitty porn. That's his his son. So I post now because of what my brother did to me, like father, like son. I post all the um, the posters, eh, in the Toronto Sun and uh, on Facebook on his birthday. August 28th, every year. I said, see this? And I'm letting the whole world know what he's like. That's why he won't watch me, because I think he knows what I'm doing. You know. But see, this is my family. You're going to talk to people like this? No, but see, my sister, and also my cousin, she told me, this is all family. A lot of sex acts start at home with the family. My my cousin, we were very close. In fact, she fell in love with me. I'm being honest with you. I think to this day. Anyways, uh, we're on the same age now. But she said when she was young, she used to go to my uncle's farm, right? And we I used to go to we were kids, right? We used to drive to Colberg to my uncle Dominic's farm, who had about 150 acres or whatever. Dominic's kids were about 21, 22 years old. They used to rape her when when she was about 14, 15 years old. She told me that, and I believe her. She had no reason to lie. This is family stuff. My oldest sister, 
Rose, who passed away no, no, more, no more than six months ago. She was raped when she was about 16, 17. She was married to uh, her husband named Eddie. Eddie had a brother. When Eddie went to work, this is when she was about 18, 19 years old, the brother had the key to get into her, her, her apartment and would rape her. She wouldn't say nothing about it all those years. She finally told me no more than, um, I have to say, about 20 years ago. She told me, we sat for coffee. She says, you know, you know, um, Eddie's brother, he used to rape me. And um, I said, why didn't you tell Vince, my older brother? She says, they couldn't handle it. She wouldn't talk to tell them any of that because they feel they just couldn't handle it, hearing something like that. So for some reason, she told me, a lot of people tell me things, eh? Even my, my nieces, my nephews, eh, before they were told, tell their own parents. They confided in me. I don't know why, but they did. They told me a lot of things that nobody really knows. Okay. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye. And that's the end of the interview.